Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and we're going to look at a really quick way to retarget the Sinity assets or characters and use them on a third person style controller. Now you can look at my longer video, which shows you how to import this and do this. But what we're going to do is use the starter assets third person controller from the Unity Asset Store. And you can import that and download that into your scene. I will put the link in the description for you to get hold of that. And then you can import or update any of the current assets that you've got when it asks you when it pops up. Now, I've just got one of the Sinity, this is the Sinity post-apocalyptic pack. With that being said, we can go to our starter assets for the third person controller and you can grab the nested parent armature, which is exactly what we need to get started. We're going to drag this into the hierarchy and place it here and it will place it roughly in the center of the world, depending on where this prefab is created. Now, what we can do on the nested prefab and unpack this completely so it doesn't affect what we currently have. We can disable the UI elements if we don't want to use those. And with those being disabled, we get the gizmos back on the character. We can just drag this along. Now we can go to the Sinity post-apocalyptic characters. And you can see we've got a bunch of characters that we can use in any of these cases. We're just going to get the male hunter one, any of these as an example. We're going to drag that into the hierarchy too. You can see that the character is positioned over there. And then once you've got the player hunter selected, they're all humanoid rigs thanks to the guys who make all the assets from Sinity. And they have an avatar called character avatar. So we'll remember that for later. We can open up the player armature of the uh, nested third person controller. We can go into the geometry and we can add that new character the hunter into the geometry then what we can do is delete the armature mesh we can then we can select our hunter which is out of position we can right click its transform in the top corner just click reset and it will be added to exactly where the original position of the armature was now with that being said we can go to the player armature parent and you can see that it's looking for a new avatar which will need to be connect the animations up and then if we press the find button and remember before we wanted the it was classed as the character's avatar because it's default to all of these Sinity characters. And with that being now linked up, we can press play in our scene. So we've got our brand new character in the scene and you can walk around, you can sprint, you can jump, and you have all the same targeted animations, foot placement, sound effects, and everything that you had before, along with all the inputs and everything. So it's retargeted perfectly for you with all the additions that we needed to make to get yourself started really, really quickly. Be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings, and everything you can find in game dev. Be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 170 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store, including massive savings on my website, and a big thank you to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Manos Berikas, Walter Dunson, Rennie Leisure, Lisa Faden, Daniel Getterjank, Shikawa Takuya, Hush, Thomas Mersaleski, Callum Murray, Mark, Rondu, Marvin Church, Hoagland Nigan, Curry for Life Gaming, Sungji Park, Brandon Mannion, Austin Certain, G. Moyquaid, Duan Cooper, James McCarthy, Johanna Lixon, Leslie Winter, Heather Fletcher, Connor Rose, Mark Vacan, Jose Herrera, Andre Ferreira, Larry Antu, Patrick Demonowski, Dylan C, Pablo, Liam Gray, Eric Young, Weiblin Lin, and Dennis Foreman. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.